Peace. My name is Haven Bullis, and today I got to bring you this video. Before I say anything else, I would like to say I do agree with Tariq. Tariq is right about what he said in his tweet. And I would even expand on it because it's not just people of color. There's it's the people of gender identity and sexual orientation and people of people who are white, but they're from they're not an Anglo-Saxon because they had to have their own rights movement in America too. different groups of whites who are not Anglo-Saxons and what black people were right there on the front line helping them get their rights too in whiteness. So Tariq is not only is he right, he's more right than he actually even knows. So, but why did I say Sean King exposed and dragged him? I say that because of this tweet right here. What laws have you gotten passed for black people? Serious question, provide links. The reason, and the whole com I will put the whole conversation in the description box below so you can read it for yourself. But the reason this particular tweet dragged and exposed him, it actually helped Tariq expose himself. Because in Tariq's previous tweet, Tariq, um, the initial tweet that started this whole conversation off, Tariq acknowledges that the only way to substantially help a people is to, in America is to go out and get laws passed on their behalf. Not write books, not do documentaries, not, not do radio shows or YouTube shows and, and all that about their plight and just simply under the guise of raising awareness. That's not how you actually help a people in the final equation, especially if that's all you're going to do. And that's how Tariq exposed himself because he knows that. You see, Tariq didn't say what books, what documentaries, what shows have they done about it? Because we all know white people, Asian people, so-called Latinos and every other group have done more documentaries, more written, more books and all that than you can even count. But Tariq knows just that alone ain't going to help black people. The only way you could actually help black people, you would have got out here in your thousands and got out here with your groups and applied pressure for laws to be passed for the sake of black people like blacks have done for other people. Done for other people. That's how he exposed himself. His whole ilk, expo he exposed himself and his whole ilk because not only do they not do that, for black people who they claim to be representing and trying to help. They bring black people away from that. They the ones telling you not to vote. While acknowledging the only real way to help a people. Is through the political process. And getting laws passed. But they tell you not to vote. Even Yvette Carnell. Who champions politics. But I have never heard her. Personally. Raise a legitimate political solution. In fact. This past election cycle, she told people not to vote for Hillary Clinton. And anybody who knows anything about politics in America knows every vote not cast for one party, especially when you're dealing with the black with the black vote, is a vote for the other party. Every time every vote you didn't pass cast for Hillary was a was a vote for Trump. You actually helped bring him closer to winning, which he did. Now what? Now what? And then after Trump won, she talked about how we could possibly negotiate with a white nationalist. The only way you can negotiate with a white nationalist is if he stopped being a white nationalist. It's not in his interest to do anything beneficial for black people. How does that help white nationalism? So they all got exposed and dragged today. And, it, and, and I bet you Tariq didn't even know it was even going to go like that. He thought he was going to put that stick, put that tweet up, a statement that everybody already knows is true. And somebody might respond to it and try to argue with him. And he was going to just expose him and, and embarrass them by saying, show me when. And they couldn't show. And then he was going to say, aha, I won. And please, nobody come here trying to shrink Tariq Nasheed or anybody else that I was talking about. Whether I said their name or I didn't. Because I said it's ilk. So that's including Jason Black. All these dudes. 
Umar Johnson, Boyce Watkins, all of them. Sarnetta, everybody. Because they not no tiny entities. They not somebody just starting out in this. They've been doing this for years. Not only that, they have organizations. And if they needed to, for their own benefit, they can mobilize hundreds, if not thousands of people to come do what they need them to do on their own dime. Not on... Tariq ain't giving up a penny for nobody to come see him or move to come do anything he wants them to do. They got to bring, they got to get there on their own dollar. And when they want to do a project that they invested in, they can, they can raise tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars for what they want to do. So nobody shrink them to make them seem like these are just some people on the internet who just had a camera phone and decided, well, I'm going to just try to raise some awareness, do the best I can to just try to help my people. Even if it is only just pointing out some things that I see that's wrong with the community or wrong about how people are being treated. That is not Tariq and none of their people. And I'm not talking about nobody who's, who's doing things like that. I'm talking about people, again, with organizations with hundreds, if not tens, um, thousands of followers, if not tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands of followers. I'm talking about people who could say, hey, I need a hundred thousand dollars to make a to make a documentary about something that I talk about every day and the people give it to them. That's who I'm talking about. And I'm gonna end this video right here. Like, share, subscribe, drop me a comment, tell me what you think. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, reach me something. And on that note, family, peace.